Hey guys, Kingsley here, also known as M. Thank you very much for tuning in to episode 11 of King's Tutorial. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the roguelike dungeons mod for Minecraft 1.11.2. So, a quick and simple installation, and we're going to begin with uh, turning on Minecraft to download and install the version for Minecraft 1.11.2. So simply you go over to Launch Options, make sure you've enabled Advanced Settings, press on Add New. Here, type in Minecraft 1.11.2. And then under the um, version drop down, if you press on the drop down and then select a release 1.11.2, if you click on that, then press save. You've now created a brand new profile for Minecraft for Minecraft 1.11.2. Simply go to your drop down to your um, a profile selection button right here. If you press that and then select Minecraft 1.11.2 right here, and then press play, this will download and install Minecraft 1.11.2 for you. And we're doing this. Just just before we actually uh, download and install Forge and a roguelike uh, and the roguelike dungeons mod onto Minecraft, so we're just gonna let Minecraft boot up. There we go. Minecraft 1.11.2 has been loaded. We can now press Quit Game and also turn off our launcher. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to download both of these files. So if you go onto the first link in the description down below, this should take you to files.minecraftforge.net. And here you're going to want to navigate over to the uh, download section for Minecraft 1.11.2. I've currently downloaded the version of Forge which is 2253. I've downloaded the Windows installer of Forge as I am on, on a Windows operating system. However, if, if you're not on, on a Windows operating system, I'd recommend you, you download the standard Java installer of Minecraft Forge. Once you press on one of these buttons to download Minecraft Forge, it will take you to an add focus page where you're going to wait 6 seconds and then press skip in the top right corner right here. Once you press skip, that will download Minecraft Forge for you. So once you download Minecraft Forge, go on to the second link in the description down below, which should take you to the curse page. And here, you're going to want to go over to other downloads and download the latest version of Minecraft 1.11.2 for roguelike dungeons, which in this case is uh, 1.6.5. So, if you download that as well, and then drag above the files onto your desktop or somewhere where you can access them, and then open up Minecraft Forge. Once Minecraft Forge opens up, make sure you select Install Client and then also have this ticked as well. And then if you press OK, that will download and install Minecraft Forge for you. It's also created a brand new profile for your or in your Minecraft launcher. Uh, so if we go over to Launch Options again, we, we, we will now see that Forge has been created. A brand new profile called Forge. So if we go back onto News and then onto the Profile Selection button and then select Forge, you can now press play and set up Forge for the first time. Now we're doing this right before we install the mod, so Forge is ready to go. The, the, um, running Minecraft f for the first time with Forge will also set up a, um, a folder in your Minecraft directory called Mods, where you can drag in the roguelike dungeons mod. So as you can see, Forge is currently loading everything for us. There we go, it should be done, there we go, we got six mods loaded. Ooh, I, I've forgotten to take out the previous uh, tutorial I made about, which was a um, food expansion mod, but nevertheless, uh, Forge has been loaded successfully, so you can now press Quick Game, and now I'm going to show you guys how to install the roguelike dungeons mod. So, if you hold the Windows key on your keyboard and press R, this will open up Run, and here you're going to want to type in percent app data percent forward slash dot Minecraft. I've left this command in the description down below, so you guys can just copy paste it into your Run. Once you type it in, press OK, and this will take you directly to your Minecraft directory. And as you can see, the folder called Mods has been created by Minecraft Forge, where we can now go into the folder and drag in the roguelike Dungeons mod we've downloaded from Minecraft Forge. I mean, from uh, the curse page. So simply drag the file in, into the Mods folder. We can now close the Minecraft directory, and I'm going to show you guys that the mod has been successfully installed. So let's restart our launcher first. We'll let it load and then once again make sure you are running the uh, Forge profile else your mods will not work at all. So just let Minecraft load up with the roguelike dungeons mod. As you can see Forge is still functioning per perfectly fine. I've noticed that once this gets to uh, 3,000, there you go, Minecraft loads. Okay, once again, six mods loaded. We can see roguelike dungeons mod has been successfully installed. 
we can now go into single player and create a brand new world and I can show you guys that the mod has been successfully installed. A full screen Minecraft once the, once the world loads. There we go. Let's see if we can find a dungeon. Fly around a bit. Hopefully find one of the dungeons that spawn. Where should I go? Oh, I'll go in this direction. The Minecraft uh, world loading speed can barely keep up with this. There we go. I believe this is a dungeon. If I'm not mistaken. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this has helped you install this mod. If it has, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe down below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching once again. I hope to see you guys in another one of my videos. Goodbye.